You know, sometimes I get discouraged. But when I remember that I'm not alone, I have God and I have you, I get encouraged again and I carry on. I especially get encouraged when I get a donation from one of our viewers. You see, the economy is so bad in Iran because of sanctions, because of mismanagement. People are struggling just with the basics of life. So when I get a testimony from a person like Arya, I get encouraged and I hope you will get encouraged. He says, there was a period in my life I was miserable, I was hopeless, I was broke. I was watching your programs and I get some hope and then I would pray, God, you are my father. I'm your child, why don't you answer me? I have financial problem, you have to help me. Then he says, one night I was praying and I had an encounter with God, which brings tears to my eyes even now. The Lord in my prayer told me very clearly, why are you stealing from me? He says, that shook me. I said, how can, I how can you say that? How do I steal from you? And the Lord reminded me, when I got saved, I had a business. I vowed to him that he will be my business partner. But then I forgot my vows. And he reminded me that what I had told him, I have not kept just like Israelites. He said, I repented and I was watching your program. He says, one night we were watching your program. My wife and I made a new vow to the Lord that we will support you, Iran Alive, financially. We had not much to give, but by faith we decided to be obedient to him and give anyway. We had no money, so my beloved wife sold all her jewelry and our car so we could keep our vows and support your channel. Shortly after, the Lord, Lord's grace and blessing started to flow into our lives. After giving, He opened new doors for my business and blessed us financially. Now I can proclaim that the Lord will not come short for anyone. If we just obey Him and be faithful in our finances, He will return it many folds. Now listen to this. This is such an encouraging ending. You are my church and Dr. Hormuz is my pastor. When we were in need, you helped us. We know that many people are being helped by your broadcast and we want to be a part of what God is doing through you. I want to tell you that your labor is not in vain. Many lives are being saved and changed. It is our honor to support you financially. Do not become weary. May His grace and peace be with you Always. A sign of maturity is how willing are you to give to the Lord financially. The amount is not important. The sacrifice is important. If you have little or more, how sacrificial are you giving? I'm proud of Arya with no money. He is giving financially because he says, you are my hand. I give you because I want others to be served through you. And I know you have the same heart. May I ask you to continue to pray and stand by us because the Lord is supernaturally using us and our channel to reach into millions of homes. Thousands are coming to Christ every month because of our partnership. It's bringing so much food for the kingdom of God. I value you. If you have not started doing that, may I invite you to become a partner. But may I invite you to stand by us and together we'll make a difference in the Middle East through Iran. God bless you.